everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Monster. Oh yeah, guys, welcome back. So, since last episode here at the base, I've been doing a lot of stuff off camera. Um, like I said, I got rid of all these grass patches, and now we can see down into each one of these little rooms like uh, we should. Uh, we do have an empty room here, and I believe we have an empty room here. Uh, but another thing that I've done off camera is I went ahead and I built another section of our island. So yeah, this whole thing has been laid out. Uh, we have the grass patches up here. Looks like one piece of grass still hasn't filled in yet. Or I guess two. Uh, yeah, we have the grass patches up here. This is where we're going to have our automated farms and things like that. Tree farms or any of the magic crops or anything like that other than the... Uh, the uranium magic crops over here. These are always going to stay on this island. Uh, but as far as everything else, like if we need any of the other magic crops or trees or whatever, yeah, we'll go ahead and put those on this island. So that opens up a little bit of room here for some of our main projects that we're working on. Uh, I went ahead and I moved the water down one block so it's inset. Um, all the aqueous accumulators and the tesseract and all that stuff moved it down a little bit. I have moved down our, what did they call that? The Jassassinator? The automatic or fortune machine. I've moved that down from up top here into the ground. It's a little bit cleaner. Um, yeah, way less pronounced, that's for sure. When it was up here, it seemed like a pretty big thing. We also have the lava, the lava fabricator up here as well. I've gotten rid of that. We don't really need lava that much anymore. Uh, let's see, what else? Yeah, we have the laser drill down there. We've already seen this. Um, this one over here, we had a little bit of our reactor, or I'm sorry, our rotary craft stuff going that we haven't really been using. All those machines were set up so we could get the different tier of stuff. So yeah, I went ahead and I removed that. So for now, we got two blank rooms for two different projects. And I think what I want to do today, um, I want to start making or at least getting to the point of making octuple compressed cobblestone. Uh, there's actually a pretty good reason why I want to do that, but we'll go into that a little bit later. So first things first, we need to start creating cobblestone. Um, well, actually, do we want to create the cobblestone first, or do we want to hook up the way to turn it into the octuple compressed? Now, we can use uh, applied energistics to do the crafting to turn it into the octuple compressed. Um, I started doing that in agrarian skies actually, and it feels like it's just taking forever for um, a seven by seven by seven Mac to do that. And I think, is this seven by seven or is this five by five? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is a five by five. So this will go even slower. So I don't want to do it this way. I think what we're going to do is similar to what I did. I think it was an unleashed where I use the cyclic or cyclic assemblers from thermal expansion to do the crafting for us. So let's go ahead and get some of those going. We're gonna need like eight or nine, maybe 10 of those. Do we have these on auto craft? We do. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's just make 10 of those. Why not? I mean, we got all the resources in the world, right? And this is just automatically crafting. So yep, yeah, if we got an extra one, we got an extra one, but I think we might even need more than 10. Uh, we're also gonna need I think it's called a schematic. Yeah, these guys right here. Each one of those cyclic assemblers need one of these. We don't have any paper. We got sugar cane, not very much. Uh-oh. Uh, hopefully we got enough here. I think we should though. Okay, so we'll make 63 of those. So we need uh, 10 schematics then, oh, they do stack. I was gonna say they don't, but yeah, they do. Eight, nine. Okay, we are out of lapis. Uh, at least we're out of the loose lapis. Go ahead and do this real quick. And there we go. Okay, so there's our 10th one. Very good. Okay, so we can go ahead and put these guys over here. Now let's see, we got 10 of them. And this is a odd room. <laughs> so I don't know how this is exactly going to work. So let's just start laying some things out. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Okay, so we got seven across and that gives us some room to like walk around these things. Maybe we'll do this in two stages. So if we have seven there, we could have like three up front. Uh, that could work, I guess. I don't know, we'll play around with this as we go. Okay, so we're gonna need to give these things some power. 
And one thing I like doing with these connected textures is let's just remove the blocks underneath. And this is where we will put the power. That way it kind of hides it. And with the connected textures, go ahead and do this, stick that right there. Uh, with the connected textures, it kind of puts a little board <laughs> puts a little border around them. Okay, so yeah, see, so gives it like a little bit of a border around it. Kind of makes it feel like these are supposed to be here. I like that a lot. Okay, so we need to grab ourselves some redstone energy conduit. And we got some of those right here. And we also should probably fill in below those with the stone. Okay, so conduit. Oops, did not put one in the very back. There we go. Yep, okay, so we got these going right like that. Awesome. And one of those and one of those. Very good. Okay, so the cyclic assemblers are cyclic. I still don't know how you pronounce it, so I'm going to say it both ways. Uh, you need a schematic in each one of these. So we'll go ahead and do that. I guess I can just shift click those in there. It makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so schematic in each one of those and then you set your pattern you want it to craft, click the check mark and then the schematic becomes that particular thing. Okay, very good. So we'll also go ahead and just throw the schematics in these guys. Again, I don't know if this is gonna be the final setup. Um, it might not be. We might move some things around. Uh, what I remember though, when I built something like this before in the Unleashed series, when we were going from cobblestone to the compressed cobblestone, I felt like that was a bottleneck and we needed like three of these machines to turn into the compressed cobblestone to feed into the double compressed to make that go a little bit faster. So I don't know, we'll have to play around with this and change it up a little bit. Um, so the next step is we're gonna need a cobblestone generator. So, uh, we could do it the old school way with lava and water and then break the blocks for the cobblestone, which goes a little slow. We can do it the same way, lava, water, and use like the applied energistics transition plane, which does work, but again, it goes as fast as the vanilla cobblestone generator goes. Uh, we can use the thermal expansion machines, the, what is it, the igneous extruder to make cobblestone. Uh, I think what I want to do though, I want to use, what is it, the transfer nodes? I think those are from like extra utilities. Yeah, these guys right here. Um, these are pretty cool. These with a mining upgrade, let's see, transfer node. Can you do this? Uh, speed upgrade, mining upgrade, yeah. So the transfer node plus these mining upgrades will make it go a little bit faster and it'll also allow it to <laughs> harvest the cobblestone. I guess I forgot to say that, didn't I? <laughs> okay, so let us get this going. So first things first, we need uh, some, we'll grab some cobblestone, I think. Do we want to do the cobblestone? Let's see, stone brick. Let's put these things in stone brick for the surround. We'll use cobblestone for the in-between. Okay, grab some of that. I think we're gonna have this floating off the ground a little bit. So we'll do, I think right here we'll have our first piece of cobblestone. Okay, and then we will surround that with stone brick, like this, like that. And then we'll have another piece of cobblestone uh, right there. Okay, very good. So we can go ahead and get rid of those extra pieces. Okay, then we will do more stone bricks over here. Just like this. And I think actually that one will need to be cobblestone. So basically what we're gonna have is our cobblestone generator right here. We're gonna have water right here. We're gonna have lava right there. And that's gonna produce cobblestone right in the center. Let's see if we can do that real quick. Lava. Oh, you know what? I think I have it in a tank. Okay, so if we grab lava from here, get a bucket, stick it right like that. Okay, very good. So when this breaks, well, what would happen actually, if I were to break this, the water would run forward and turn this into obsidian, but we're not gonna be doing it that particular way. So let me go ahead and cap this off. In case we have our lava and our water in there. 
Okay, very good. So if we use the transfer nodes right here on this particular block, it can actually mine it. And since that's got lava on one side and water on the other side, it'll act like a lava generator or a cobblestone generator and it'll constantly produce cobblestone. So now I think we need to go ahead and start making the transfer nodes. I don't think we have those on auto craft. Oh, maybe we do. Oh, that's right, because a long time ago, <laughs> we were making cheaty power. And I think we're using the the item or the liquid transfer nodes. That's what it was. We need the red ones. These are the item ones. Okay, so we're going to need the mining upgrades. Yeah, these guys. Oop, that requires an iron pickaxe for two of these. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to have to make a pattern for that. Because I'm not going to craft all of those by hand. <laughs> uh, do we have an iron pickaxe? Yep, we have an iron pickaxe thing. Okay, awesome. And did that also use lapis? Okay, so lapis, we will go ahead and make a whole bunch of these. I could make a pattern to turn the blocks into the singles, but I think this is probably just going to be the easier way. Right, so mining upgrade, I think we're going to want four stacks. That might be more than what we need, but yeah, we'll go ahead and get those because I think we're going to put these item transfer nodes on all four sides of that piece of cobblestone. And that should allow us to get the maximum amount per couple generator. Now, if we need more than this, we got water on this side. So if we put a lava source right here, we can also use this one as another cobblestone generator. So I think that's going to end up being really fast and really good. So we can stick these guys right like that. Um, I Oh yeah, look at that. So they are producing cobblestone just like that. Uh, with the mining upgrade, it'll allow it to produce cobblestone faster. So let's go ahead and get a mining upgrade. We got a stack of those right now. So let's put those in here and let's remove that stack. Look, now it's doing a stack at a time. Okay, so that's pretty quick. Um, so each one of these will be doing a stack at a time once we get all the mining upgrades in there. Uh, next thing, we need to pipe those items out and put them into our cyclic assemblers or cyclic assemblers. Um, I almost think like we should pipe it over into these three, have these three be our compressed cobblestone. And then from here we can transfer them over into this way. So this will be double, triple, quadruple, etc., all the way down. I think that's probably going to be the best way to do it. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then, yeah, this will make our compressed. So I think that should actually work. Okay, well, I tell you guys what, let me go ahead and take a break. I'm gonna get some things laid out here, uh, probably get the rest of those mining upgrades going, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so this is what we're looking like now. So we have all of our cobble generators here. I got three of them going. We have it surrounded with the stone brick just for uh, the parts that are not the generator. Those are the parts that are containing the water and the lava. Uh, so each one of these are producing pretty quickly and that's good. So I have the pipes running down underneath the ground here and they come up behind these front cyclic assemblers and they go into the back here and this is where the cobblestone is input. Whoops, I <laughs> probably shouldn't do that. Okay, let's place that back real quick. There we go. Um, I did put some cobblestone covers here. Otherwise, these pipes look like they attach even though they can't really send anything to the front. I don't know, I thought it looked a little bit better with those. I might swap those out for glass, actually, just so you can see the front faces of all of these assemblers. Um, so we have more transfer nodes on the top. These are gonna pull out of the top, uh, send over here into our first cyclic assembler. Okay, and then under the very last one here, we have the transfer node, which is gonna pull out our, hopefully, octuple compressed cobblestone. And let's break this real quick. So that goes down here and connects into the Tesseract. Even though it doesn't really look like it's connecting, I think that's still a connection. Let's see, can I, if I do that, okay, so it connects there. But if I get rid of this, come on. I don't know why I can't click on that anymore now. What's going on with that? I don't know. Okay, so I tell you guys what, um, instead of doing that, it looks like it definitely is connected now. It didn't look like it was connected before. So I think what I can do is get another cover. Let's do, I don't know, just one of these stone brick covers will be fine. And we can just set that right here on 
this guy, and that should prevent that connection, even though it still looks like it's connected. I don't know. <laughs> the thing is with these transfer pipes, um, they can send liquids, items, and power at the same time. So it's trying to connect over to uh, the redstone energy conduit to send some power. I guess that doesn't really matter, to be honest. So we can just go ahead and put this hollow cover back on. So the octuple compressed cobblestone should go down to this tesseract. This tesseract is also sending the power over to these guys. And then down under here, it connects over here and sends power to these guys from underneath as well. So everything's got power. Everything should be connected and hooked up. Uh, let's see, we need one piece of stone. Go ahead and cover that and cover that. Okay, very good. So these should all be connected over to our cobblestone generators. So the next step is to get these things going. So let's go ahead and turn these things on. We have to set the pattern. So we have the schematic in there already. So we just need to set the pattern right like that and turn this guy on. So yeah, now we're making cobblestone and you see it's being pulled out. Okay, very good. So we need to do that to all of these. Let me grab some more cobblestone and set all these guys going. Okay, so that's doing that. And finally, we need to do it on this last one. Okay, so now they're all going. We're making the, the compressed cobblestone in these three, and that should be sending the compressed cobblestone over here, which it is. So now we need to take this and set the pattern for the next stage. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, that should send it over to this one. Then we can set the pattern going this direction as well. Okay, that should send it over here. Now we can do the quadruple compressed stone and turn that one on. Awesome. Okay, so now we just gotta wait for each of these to be made so I can make the next pattern in the chain. But yeah, this is going automatically. So as we can see here, we are not making cobblestone fast enough. It's going to this one, it's doing its thing, and then it's gotta wait. So yeah, we need to make some more upgrades for our transfer nodes, and I think we have to make what's called speed upgrades. Um, I'm gonna have to take a look at this real quick. So let's do extra utilities. Where are all of the upgrades? Okay, so right here. So we got the speed upgrade, item filter, mining upgrade, stacks upgrade, which I don't think that matters. We might need to do that, in fact. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so let's do a stack of speed upgrades in each one of those. So we got how many, how many of those do we have? We have one, two, three, so we got 12 stacks to make. Oof, that's gonna be a lot of speed upgrades. So what is the recipe for a speed upgrade? It is some gold, redstone, and gold nuggets. Okay, so we got some crafting recipes to make. So let's go ahead and get this done. So gold nugget, we need that recipe in our system. Let's go ahead and make one of these, but we'll do it with the redstone block, not the colored one. Grab one of these guys, or I'm sorry, not, is it maybe dyed redstone, colored redstone? I don't know. So we will encode that. Oh, this makes four at a time. Okay, so that's a little bit cheaper than I was thinking. Now, as far as gold goes, how much do we have? We have 22,000 gold. Yeah, we got plenty. Okay, so I said we need to make 12 stacks of that speed upgrade. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 768. Seems like that should be about enough. So while that thing's going, we can go ahead and fly over here real quick and get ready to put those in. Oops. Go on, go down the elevator. There we go. Okay, so speed. Go ahead and click these all out. So that's nine stacks, 10, 11, 12. Awesome. Okay, so if we put these things in here, this should make, oh, you know what? I don't have the mining upgrades in these. Ah, that might be why it's going a little slow. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and put the speed upgrades in each one of these. Hopefully this will make it go that much faster. I'll have to get the mining upgrades for those other ones. I thought I had them in all of them. Okay, so now if we look over here, how's this thing doing? Oh yeah, look at that, now it's filling up. Okay, so that's good. Right, so what about this one? Nope, no mining upgrades in these. Okay, so we're gonna need to do that as well. Mining, oh, you know what, I crafted them, I just never put them in, there we go. Okay, so mining plus speed. We'll do mining and speed. 
This one will do mining and speed as well. And finally, mining and speed, as you guys might have guessed. So mining plus speed. Okay, so how is that keeping up over here now? So this is full, that one's full, and this one is full. Are these things not able to... Oh, you know what? I think these things might need the speed upgrades too. Uh, actually, I'm not sure how many we need. Let's try putting in 16 in each of these. Maybe that'll be fast enough. Okay, so it looks like it's keeping up over here. Yeah, okay, I think we're good. Um, so how are we doing on this thing? Yeah, we're producing compressed cobblestone, or the double compressed, pretty quickly. Okay, so now we got this over here. We got the triple compressed, quadruple. Okay, so I think the quadruple we needed to make a pattern for. So let's go ahead and get that guy going. Right, so as soon as this thing uh, gets, what is it, three more pieces of the quadruple compressed, we will get the next one in the chain and then the next one and the next one. So, wait, did that not have power? Okay, I thought I saw one that didn't have power. So yeah, this is full of cobblestone and all of these. It might even make sense to add a few more cyclic assemblers up here to do more of the double compressed cobblestone. It seems like we're making more cobblestone than what we can keep up with. And it looks like this is being fine. Uh, it's not <laughs> getting too much of the compressed cobblestone. It's not backing up at all. So yeah, we might add another one of these or another two up front here. I'll have to check that out and see what we want to do. Uh, we definitely can put in more mining upgrades and more speed upgrades in this guy just to make sure we always have enough. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to add in... I'm going to have to create a few more of the mining upgrades. Okay, guys, tell you what, give me a few moments here. Let me get the rest of these upgrades in and we'll be right back. Oh yeah, guys. So we got this completely hooked up now and I'm very, very pleased with how it's turned out. So what I ended up doing is I put two stacks of speed upgrades in each one of these guys. Um, we originally had the one stack in there and then I added these two extra cyclic assemblers to the end. So we now have a total of five of them turning cobblestone into compressed cobblestone. And with only the one speed upgrade stack in each one of these transfer nodes, these two end ones were running out of cobblestone. I wasn't able to keep up. So I put in the extra stack of speed upgrades in every single one of these. And now all five of these are being f are being kept full of the cobblestone. So that is awesome. So yeah, we are making the compressed cobblestone really quickly, which is coming over here, uh, being turned into the double compressed really quickly. It's not backing up at all. So we could probably even add even more uh, cobblestone to compress cobblestone assemblers up front if we really wanted to. Uh, I think for right now we are good. I did replace those covers with the clear glass covers. I think it looks a little bit better. It'd be nice if these were completely transparent, but what can you do? So yeah, we are making the double compressed cobblestone really quickly. And then we are making the triple compressed, you know, about pretty quickly as well. Uh, so we've made the quadruple, we've made the quintuple, we've made one sextuple, and then I'll make the septuple, and then f finally that'll turn into the octuple. So this will be going all the time when I'm off of the server and things like that. So we'll end up having the octuple compressed cobblestone made automatically. Um, yeah, and that'll be cool because we need a few of those blocks. I still haven't told you guys why we need them, but yeah, we'll probably check that out in the next episode if we have a few of them ready to go. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. We got quite a lot of stuff done making octuple compressed cobblestone almost automatically. I still have to set a few more of those patterns, uh, the schematics, but yeah, we are well on our way. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time.